Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to THE Student Webinars. We are here today with Politecnico Di Milano, who are here to talk to you about all things PhD and why you should join them in Italy uh, for a PhD program. Um, now we're here for the next hour with you. Um, we will be here to discuss any Thing that you have to ask so please do ask the questions we are available for the hour so we will be here and answering your questions at the very end in the q a box at the bottom of your screen there um so please do ask questions throughout and we will get to them at the very end so now i'm going to hand you over to tiara thank you very much Tabrula, and uh, welcome everyone uh, thank you for joining us today i'm really happy to have the opportunity to present politecnico di milano phd positions um to all of you and i'm super uh, glad that uh, our current phd uh, student uh, in, is available for um, talking to you today and so thank you giacomo for for being with uh, with us um Thank you and welcome. <laughs> um, I will uh, share uh, just a screen uh, presentation uh, so you can have some information about Politecnico di Milano. And then of course we will listen to Giacomo's experience and what he wants to share with us uh, about being um, a PhD candidate at Politecnico di Milano. Um, let's start very um, um, like informally with uh, this uh, um, uh, this sentence we, we chose to start your journey at Polimi. Uh, we really believe that studying at Politecnico di Milano is a great opportunity, is really a journey. So you come here for academic purposes, but you also uh, find a lot more and uh, you um, you will be in a great atmosphere, in a great environment. Uh, and of course, uh, in your experience here will go far beyond the academic uh, aspect. Um, today we have uh, Giacomo with us. He is a PhD candidate in information technology. And um, um, we will try to cover uh, the majority of the topics which are usually of interest of uh, international prospective students. So we will explain something about Politecnico Milano, location, the reputation, uh, the research, of course, and definitely the available PhD programs and positions. And then uh, we will listen to Giacomo. And of course, you will have the opportunity to ask all your questions at the end uh, of the presentation. Um, and then also important, uh, we will cover some uh, info and details about the application procedures, deadline and, and scholarship opportunities, of course. So let's start with a quick, quick overview of the university because you might know, you might not know. So we want you to be aware of um, the main features of Politecnico di Milano, the location. Uh, well, the university is based in Milan, um, a very dynamic city, I would say, Italian hub uh, of economics, of business. Um, it's a center of fashion, design, innovation, technology. So it's really um, a great place to be. Uh, we usually say that if something new happens in Italy, uh, well, it happens in Milan. So it's the right place to be for, for this. It's a very, really dynamic and, of course, international in terms of uh, tourism, but also of expats and students who are here uh, for their academic experience. Um, beyond this, of course, it's uh, <laughs> full of history and monuments and great places to, to visit. Um, the university was established in Milan first in 1863, but then we opened some new campuses uh, in different cities uh, nearby. So I don't know where you are from, but my, there are some students probably listening from the US, so, which is huge, of course. Um, well, Italy is not as, as big as the US, so the distances are uh, just uh, smaller. So you can really easily travel from Milan to, uh, for example, the other, the other campuses in one hour um, or less uh, by train. Um, there are always some uh, specific reason why we have that program on, on a specific campus and you will can definitely discover everything on our website. Um, 
we're here because we want to present the research opportunities, so the, the PhD positions at Politecnico Milano, and they, that's why we, it's really important to know that we are a uh, research center. So we, the, the, this, this is the first Italian university for projects funded by the European Commission. This is a guarantee of quality of the projects of the research that we carry out out here and uh, uh, that's also thanks to the fact that we have a lot of labs um, and uh, um, several um, pro uh, professors that are into research a lot. So these are just some, some numbers that testify and, and uh, the, the quality and um, the quantity of uh, um, of act the activity related to research, and we mentioned the, the labs because, of course, uh, we have some um, more than two hundred, almost two hundred and fifty laboratories on campus, and among these six large infrastructures, meaning that really important and big labs where a lot of tests take place and which are also uh, used by companies we or uh, which are interested in. Uh, um and working on specific uh, uh topics related to the area uh, where the lab is, is active. So uh, really a, a great uh, place to be for, uh, for research. And um, talking about lab, I would really like Giacomo to um, share his experience, talk about his uh, activity here, his, his uh, decision to be a PhD candidate at Politecnico di Milano. So thank you, Giacomo. I leave floor uh, to you. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Chiara. I'm super, I'm super glad to be here. As Chiara said, I'm Giacomo, and my long short story is that I am I am in Politecnico since I started my bachelor degree here in uh, computer science engineer. During my, my bachelor, I was not the best student, uh, but, but uh, I was pretty in the, in the average. Uh, this is to say that in order, in order to start a PhD, you don't have to be the best student of all, all time. Next, I started my master's degree, continuing uh, with computer science. Uh, and uh, I think that the, the right name is uh, information, computer science and information technology, in which I had mainly the opportunity to train my passion for the development of application, in particular for the web application. At the end of my master degree, I concluded my path with a master thesis in the field uh, for my first time in my life in the field of educational technology. That is the perfect cross between uh, computer science and uh, the pedagogy. Uh, and it was for me the first time in which I had the opportunity to, to bind uh, two different uh, point of view. One, uh, very technical, very from the engineer from computer science, and the, the second one that is very human, that, uh, that is pedagogy. Um, I developed a thesis in the field of uh, video, video learning, uh, in the sense that I try to enhance the interaction between students and teachers in uh, the video-based environment. And um, after, after that moment, uh, I continued working in, uh, in the sector of educational technology uh, with a PhD that I started in May uh, of the last year under the supervision of Professor Nicoletta Di Blas um, in the Department of Electronics, uh, Bioengineering Bio and um, Information Technology here in Politecnico. Uh, I, I continued working in the Hypermid Open Center uh, that is a lab, uh, as I was saying, in the, in the ed tech field. And in my mind, uh, PhD is the best opportunity, uh, is a, a, best, a good opportunity that you can exploit in different ways. My point of view is that the PhD is a perfect moment to contribute to your personal growth and uh, to your career in, uh, in the way that you can decide. And um, Indeed, uh, you have the opportunity to, to grow up your personal skills through the exploration of a field that you can choose. Uh, because every, every PhD, every path is bound to a particular field. 
And in my case, uh, I, I bound my passion for computer science and programming to the world of education. That is, uh, particularly in this moment, uh, very, very uh, in a digital growth. Since uh, after COVID-19, uh, the, the, the education uh, had a strong transition to the, to the digital. And uh, in, uh, in this moment, my, my main team of my PhD is the measurement and enhancement of the engagement in all the environments uh, based on video learning. To give you some example, some example you can consider, for example, the, the MOOCs or platforms like uh, Ude, Udemy or Coursera. And um, in the, now I'm in the, um, in the second year of my PhD, and I can say that it's going well. I'm very satisfied. And uh, I think that the best thing ingredients that I can advise to you um, in your PhD are a good relationship with your supervisor and your colleagues uh, in order to, to build um, an environment uh, in which you can explore the ideas uh, in your research area, you can study um, in, a, in a way that is very interactive. And, uh, um, but the main, the main ingredients, in my opinion, is to, have, to try to have passion in, uh, in your research field. And um, another very important thing, thing that you have to consider uh, is it's that in your PhD, you have the opportunity to expand your comfort zone. In the sense that, for example, uh, when I presented my master thesis, I did it. Uh, I did it in Italian because I, I was scared to to speak another language. And uh, after one year and a half, I I traveled to the U.S. twice, and I, I had the opportunity to present my work in in different conferences. Uh, one in New York, one in Prague, one in New Orleans. And um, so in this year, I expanded my comfort zone in a strong way. And so in conclusion, my last, my last advice is that if you are a curious person and you want to get expert to a field and bound your name to a particular, to a particular field of research, a PhD is the best way to do it. In particular, also because, for example, in my, in my case, uh, every time there are a lot of graduates in the master's degree, uh, especially in computer science. And the PhD is uh, an opportunity to put yourself uh, on a step over of the master's students, for example. Um, and then at the end, uh, you can build a lot of opportunity for you in the sense that you can choose to continue in the academic uh, or you can choose to, to do research in a, in a factory. Uh, in a big company, or uh, also change, uh, change completely your path. PhD is an opportunity. So um, you can try uh, to, to decide, you can decide uh, how to use this opportunity in the, in the best way you think. Okay, I think it's, it's all, Chiara, <laughs> pass you the ball. Thank you, Giacomo, thank you very much. And I, I think what you, uh, well, of course, this is a story. This is one person's experience. But um, in in my opinion, uh, this is uh, what happens at Polytechnic Milano. So you kind of find a passion, and then you have also the opportunity to dis to just extend uh, your skills, your interest uh, towards other fields and the area. So you are graduated from information. Uh, you are graduates of information technology, but you also have this interest toward education or on pedagogy, let's say, and you, you did have the opportunity to uh, do that, to combine them here at Politecnico. Um, a lot of labs are interdisciplinary, so you don't focus only on a specific aspect. You can also just uh, uh, explore uh, in different ways. And uh, that's, that's what happens uh, when the minds exchange ideas and they get in connection. So um, this is the focus of of Politecnico di Milano, of, of PhD at Politecnico di Milano. Um, so I I would say that uh, um, your um, what you mentioned is what we try also to um, to explain to the people 
through this website you see here. So Progress in Research and Frontiere. These are two websites where we publish news about research at Politecnico di Milano. So this way you can get in contact. You can just be aware of what happens here, uh, where like how we contribute to innovation in a very, very different ways and, and the areas and subjects. Um, I would say that passion is in the, at the center of uh, all the activity and of the activities. Of, for, of course, we try to have a social impact and I say we, but I'm, I'm not involved in this and in, in the research, but I, I mean the Politecnico di Milano people that like uh, try to have a social impact, to have open minds just to to be um uh, to, to be there for uh, any challenge new challenges of the, of of the world of course uh, toward technology because technology and uh, science are the basics of course of what happens at Politecnico di Milano so these are just a few I, information about what happens the latest news in research you can find this on the research uh, website of Politecnico di Milano um and uh, these are just uh, really examples, but you will, can browse and know more and, uh, and find out that uh, a lot of fields are, are explored in, uh, in here. Um, thanks to what we mentioned and a lot more, I would say, uh, the university is very well ranked. We are the first Italian university and among the best uh, universities in the world in the fields we teach. So design, architecture and the engineering. Again, we talk about design, architecture and engineering as uh, separated areas and fields, but uh, in fact, it's not, it's, it's not like that. So there is a, a lot of, there are a lot of connections between the three fields and also uh, in uh, with other fields, as as Giacomo uh, said and described, and this is a proof of this contamination, I would say, of uh, uh, different areas. Then, of course, uh, um, there are a lot of partnerships. We are um, we have uh, connections, and it, um, we are part of important uh, international networks. Um, fact that gives the opportunity to go abroad for, uh, like Giacomo said, for exchange or for participating to events and uh, conferences, and a lot more that goes on abroad. Um, and that uh, things that assures the quality of the teaching and the research here, because of course we are recognized at international level. Um, I saw already some questions about site works, fundings, and so on. So I, I, I will go to that point, but uh, just to let you know how it works here, the um, student journey, because we really want it to be a journey, we want to consider it as a journey, uh, starts at school, of course. After school, we enter usually a bachelor degree, which lasts three years. Um, then we can decide to go on with a master degree uh, of two years and then of course, enter if you know, if you want, if you can, of course, a PhD uh, program. All the PhD programs here are taught in English. So this is an international university also from that point of view. Any person from all over the world can come and study here uh, in English and do his research in English at uh, Politecnico di Milano. And just focusing on the programs we offer, here they are, and we have a QR code that leads you directly to the page um, uh, of all the programs we offer. Um, of course, we present the PhD um, through the programs which are available for uh, the students. But at the end of the day, you will not, uh, we will, you will work on a specific subject and on on a. Um, on a topic, uh, but in the frame of the program. So just don't focus on only on the name of the program, just go browse and find out more. Um, on the 29th, 26th of July, a new uh, call for uh, PhD positions will open and there will be a lot of opportunities and positions open with the scholarship. So um, this is just to let you know which areas we cover at Politecnico di Milano, but then be curious, just go on the website uh, on the 26th of July and you will find the details of, of the different calls. And of course, we will inform you by email because we will receive your contacts um, and can follow up. Um, we were saying that all the programs are in English, so we have international students enrolled at Politecnico di Milano, students from more than 100 uh, nationalities. Um, the university is uh, uh, of about uh, has about 48,000 uh, 
students are enrolled at the moment and 7.5 thousand are international students. So also from this point of view, this is an international experience. You come here, you will not alone um, from, you're not the only one from abroad. You, you will find other people from abroad. And again, you will have the opportunity to go abroad for your, uh, during your PhD, because you can study for six months or anyway, do research for six months abroad um, if you get a scholarship you this um, scholarship will increase of the 50 percent during the six months abroad uh, and of course you will be able to carry out your research uh, take part to congress seminar seminars and uh, um, even apply for joint uh, or double degrees um, uh, the cost of the phd is uh, 165 euros per uh, year. Uh, this is the uh, an administrative fee. If you don't get a scholarship, you will pay this amount and that's it. If you do get a scholarship, you will give, get paid about 1,200, 1,400 euros per month for the three years of the PhD. Uh, and then you will get about 5,000 euros of additional budget for, of course, uh, material, taking part to congresses, seminars, and so on. Um, yeah, this is the structure um, budget-wise <laughs> uh, about Politecnico di Milano uh, PhD programs. Uh, and then when, how, the, the, what I was saying before, on the 26th of July, you will find some uh, uh, information about uh, the new, I mean, you will find a new call <laughs> published online. It's not available yet because it, it must be published on the day. Uh, but now if you scan the QR, you will find also the, 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 the um, previous calls uh, just to understand which are the available topics. On the 26th of July, you will discover all the topics. You can browse, you can get in contact with the professors in charge, and I will share with you the, the contacts of each professor, uh, the coordinator of each program. Um, you have time until the 5th of September to submit your application. And so th these are the requirements. So you ha must have a master's degree in the field related to the PhD program. So uh, as Giacomo was saying, you don't have to be the best student of the program, of the master. Uh, I mean, you, you must have a passion and interest and be, um, uh, be ready for uh, applying. So with uh, the right documents. Uh, but you must have a master degree. Um, we need you to know English, not Italian, when you apply because the programs are in English, but English is required. And the, here on the right, you find the list of accepted English proofs. Um, the application is online. Uh, it costs only 25 uh, euros per application. And these are the required documents you have to submit. So your diploma, uh, or at least a document attesting you will graduate before the beginning of, uh, of uh, the program. Uh, your uh, transcripts, your course script, sorry, your CV, um, read research project, and you will find an abstract online on the, on the uh, website to submit your uh, research uh, project, a motivation letter, and uh, an English language uh, proof, as we said. Um, Giacomo, I don't know if you want to share something about the application, if you have any tips or any anything you want to share. Yes, Chiara, uh, in my opinion, all the requirements, I, I was, uh, I was uh, seeing the, the documents to apply. And uh, in my, my opinion, the the best, the, the most important one is the research project and the letter of motivation. Uh, also, um, more important that the, the CV, because um, here in Politecnico, when you do when you do a PhD, you are mostly evaluated uh, based on your ideas. So, in my opinion, the, the research project and the letter of motivation are the best way to. Uh, let your professor or the commission that are evaluating you uh, understand which are your ideas and um, the way you the way you think. Uh, it's the best way to understand uh, your mind and uh, your ideas in, in your research area in which you are applying. And uh, I was um, I was seeing the the question in the in the chat and. Uh, 
uh, one uh, one anonymous uh, participant uh, is asking uh, if uh, there is any help in finding a job after the the PhD is over. And my my sincere my sincerely opinion is that you don't need uh, any help in, uh, in finding a job after you you have done a PhD in Polytechnico. Um, in, for example, in my my personal experience, I'm I'm not finished my PhD yet, but uh, uh, using LinkedIn, for example, I I receive a lot of a uh, lot of uh, opportunity job opportunity in LinkedIn, and uh, and uh, that's it. In, uh, in, in my mind, it's not difficult to find a PhD um, because the PhD put you on a on a step uh, on a step uh, on a longer step uh, with respect to uh, maybe other colleagues or other students that uh, that are in the master degree or even other PhD students in other university because uh, as as Kiara said. Polytechnico is the, the best and the largest technical university in Italy and one of the, the best university in Europe in, and in the world. Um, I'm sure in the engineering, my, I think also in the design and architecture. Sure. Thank you, Giacomo. Yeah, and um, um, I, I would love to jump to another slide because we mentioned this. Uh, uh, so we, we just... Uh, I just keep a, a few slides and then I, I'll go back just because we were mentioning the employability thing. And then I think this is a very important aspect uh, for the students to consider uh, when you apply to a PhD. We are um, uh, in strong connection with the companies. So when you do a PhD here, it's not like you do a PhD and to become a professor only, or if you are doing something only academic. So as we were saying, we have labs where the companies uh, work as well. We have a career service, which is part of the university, um, uh, which helps you. Yes, the answer is yes. You don't need help, as <laughs> Giacomo said, and it's not like uh, only about words is about facts and numbers. So these are the kind the this uh, statistics about the PhD uh, candidates uh, employability. You see, within one year, basically everyone has a job in the field they they were do, were doing research in. Um, here are the numbers. So um, fifty percent of them stay in, in universities or research institutes. So doing research, but another 50% works in companies, some private or public sector, but in, 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 uh, in the companies. So, um, of course, it's important to consider this and you will get help, but also you will already have the qual the qualification to be able to find the perfect, uh, the perfect job or anyway, enter the job market be even before graduation, as, as Giacomo said, and like these numbers prove. Um, so yeah, you can you can count on us for <laughs> also for this. If you need guidance, if you need help, if you want to uh, to find out uh, more about job opportunities, you definitely can rely on uh, on our career service uh, and on the professors because at the end of the day, you are in connection with the professors. Then you go to uh, uh, seminars or you go to conferences, con congresses, and you you just make connections. So this is the way it works. Um, and going back to what we were saying before, and also to answer one of the questions I saw in the chat, uh, you don't need Italian to study here, uh, but you will need to study Italian before graduating. So we will offer you pro uh, courses of Italian for free. Um, and uh, what we ask you to do is just to get to a, a, a basic level, to get a basic level of, of Italian knowledge uh, for the purposes you see here on the screen. So basically you come to a different country, you stay, study in English here on campus, Milan is very international, you won't will not need to, to know Italian to stay in Milan, more or less, but uh, it's really important to integrate. So you will be spending about three years here, and we need uh, we consider it very important for you to make friends, to work, to work, to find a job here um, in Italy or anyway in Italian companies abroad. So it's it's just an additional skill you know, which uh, opens new doors for you. 
of course you travel because i mean if you come from uh, far away you want to stay in italy you want to discover italy and visit the the, the, the small towns you 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 read about and you saw pictures of um and yeah you might need italian to do that so that's that's a very important thing and of course to know more of italian culture so this is the requirement before graduation so you will have three years to study Italian here on campus for free and get uh, a, a basic level of, of knowledge. Uh, and then, of course, on campus, you will do a lot more because, of course, we consider you a person, not only a candidate, a student. So uh, we will be you will be involved in a lot of activities. You, if you want, you can, of course, uh, be part of associations, um, attend the language courses also of other languages. Um, you can stay in the students residences. Uh, if uh, um, if you want, so we have some um, some rooms only for PhD candidates, um, and of course uh, you can take uh, advantage of the sports uh, facilities and all the. Um, discounts that we offer to to the students, so this is just to say that a lot goes on uh, beyond uh, outside of the labs let's say so uh, and yeah yeah just going on because we mentioned uh, career opportunities um, well here at Polytechnic we also have a startup innovator so since we're talking about people who's interested uh, interested in PhD level and uh, op with open mind I think you might be also interested in uh, this in the fact that Polytechnic Milano can support you if you have an idea, if you want to open a startup and create uh, a new uh, entrepreneur experience. And um, that, this is thanks to the PolyHub. Uh, this is another aspect you can you 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 might consider for um, before submitting your application to any university. Just think about the opportunities that it gives uh, to you even after you graduate. Um, these are the contacts. So before uh, finishing, of course, you can uh, definitely get in, get on the website, talk to our office, the office in charge for administrative stuff. So if you want to know about the application or anything related to uh, the administrative uh, part, you can get in contact with the professors. So the coordinator of, of each program in, in is uh, available for you to answer to your questions about academic aspects. And then you can, from uh, tomorrow probably on, get in contact with the students, to current, uh, uh, with current students of uh, Polytechnic Milano uh, at PhD level, to talk, to book an appointment and get in contact with them and ask, ask your questions. The last thing, piece of information I want to share before answering to your question is, if you're here, if you're thinking about doing PhD and uh, you're interested in Polytechnic Milano, don't doubt too much about yourself, just uh, prepare yourself, get ready for submitting your application and uh, see how it goes um, and uh, what's the result. So thank you for your attention and we're open and ready to answer to your questions. Amazing. Thank you so much, Chiara. That was a brilliant presentation. Um, we have a few questions here for you. I'm going to get stuck in now. So will there be any scholarships available for PhD? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Um, well, we you will see. Um, I might this do so. Do you see this the website? So just to. Uh, not at the no, moment. you just say just okay. So I go back to sharing my screen, and so, so you should okay. You should see the yeah the uh, website, yeah. and uh, here you see a, a part which is for, for prospective PhD candidates and a lot of information about uh, for for them. Um, any in in the calls, so uh, in each each call has a specific topic. So, for example, if you go here, you have a lot of uh, topics uh, related to architecture, for example, or any program. And inside you will see the um, uh, the scholarship, the theme, the subjects and all the requirements uh, of uh, them. So just open the link and you will find the, 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 the um, specifics of each call. The scholarships goes from 1,200 to 
1,400 euros per month, and it lasts the three years of uh, the program. Wow, amazing. All right. Um, and how about funding for research purposes? I think you remember you yeah. touching on that just at the end. How does that yes. work? Yes, uh, there are some uh, funding. So you, you get a scholarship and in addition to that, you can also get, uh, um, you, you will get a budget for your uh, yeah, research purposes, about 5,000 euros. Hey, amazing. And how easy is it to find accommodation? Does the university help with that? Well, we uh, well, I would wouldn't say it's easy, <laughs> uh, but yes, we do have about, uh, um, 80 to 90 uh, seats, rooms for uh, PhD candidates. So we will uh, will help you in this. You will, you will have the opportunity to book a room in the residences of the university, or otherwise, anyway, you will, we will share with you some uh, links and to a trustable um, uh, agencies you can rely on. Amazing. And are there any age restrictions to get into the program? No, 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 no age restrictions. None. Okay, that's perfect. Um, and I think you've answered all the questions about Italian, so I will. Skip yeah. Those. Um, how about AI? Uh, will there be any more AI explorations at PhD level? Yes, definitely there will be, and uh, probably there are already some uh, calls open about uh, AI. It's uh, very uh, on the edge of, so it's uh, it's going to be uh, there for. Uh, yeah. At Politecnico di Milano as well. The, yeah. Okay. And will there be any help in finding jobs after the courses are over, or is that during your time at university? Yeah, we will. We were discussing this, and uh, as as Giacomo said, yeah, then you don't need help. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, in case you need a guidance, assistance, or anything, yes, there is a career service inside the university which uh, helps in this. Perfect. And how about the application? Is it difficult to fill out? Will there be lots of evidence that's needed to probably provide it? Uh, no, as, as we were saying, and I might uh, go back to the uh, this Sorry, yeah, this uh, slide here where we describe the application procedure. Uh, well, we, yeah. you, you don't need, um, it's not difficult. It's going to be online under percent. You, what you need are these documents here. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, here it is. And uh, you don't need to have a lot of uh, publications. If you don't have any publications, uh, and don't, don't worry. The important thing is that you have, um, you, you are uh, able to present a research project and you have a certain knowledge in your, in the field you want to apply to. Amazing. And how about internships? Will there be opportunities for internships? Yeah, yeah, no, yes. Sorry, sorry. As job, yeah, yeah. Uh, there are opportunities for internships. Uh, they are published also on the website of the career service. So yeah. Amazing. And lastly, what would be your uh, let's say advice to students when they are applying? Is there anything they could do to stand out? Uh, well, the motivation letter is um something very personal, which might um, make you. Uh, stand out, of course, and be like be chosen among the others. Um, what I always suggest is to be careful to present all the documents to start the uh, application when you have everything with you and to conclude it. So you, if you started that, just don't leave it <laughs> there. Don't forget yeah. about the application. It's it's a waste of time that way. If you if you started it. Just go on, conclude it, send it out, and, and and wait for the results. If you have any questions, just get in contact with the, the people in charge. It might be the office, it might be the professor. If you have any specific question about the, 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 the call and the program, um, so just reach out to, to solve your doubts before applying. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And uh, when would they expect to hear from me? This well, we, yeah, well, as soon as we, as soon as we receive the contacts and uh, we will definitely reach out uh, even tomorrow or on Monday. And I don't know if you, Giacomo wants to add something and uh, say like a last word to the students. Yes, well, last thing is that uh, there are a lot of resources that you can find on the Internet, uh, even unofficial. Uh, so, for example, there are a lot of uh, Facebook groups 
I, I, I think, uh, of students and also group on Telegram. Uh, that is the best way to reach uh, students in Polytechnico, in my opinion. Um, if you you would like to to try to talk with uh, with another student, another PhD candidate, uh, I think Telegram is full of uh, full of them. Uh, there's a website of I think Poly Network. If I mm -hmm. if I'm yeah. right, uh, that is a, a link of Poly Network. That is also a website that you can find googling it. Uh, and you can reach a lot of Telegram groups in which you can uh, talk and chat with another, other PhD candidates. And last but not least, from uh, probably tomorrow again uh, on, you will find also um, uh, official but not unofficial, let's say, it's on the website of Polytechnic Milano, there is an Ask a Student project where you can talk to, to current students of the university. And uh, of course, it's official because it's offered by the university, but the conversations are definitely informal. So it's just peer-to-peer -peer -peer communication. So that's uh, that's also a good tool to be to be aware, to know more about the opportunities. So don't forget about 26th of July, where the day, that's the day when new calls are published. More than 600 positions are available at Politecnico Milano uh, this year, and, so, and the majority of them with scholarships. So just uh, just be just to stay tuned. Let's say. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys so much for taking your time today. Uh, thank you students for attending and for your questions. Um, we will be in touch very shortly, as Kiara mentioned, and we'll be there to answer any more questions if you have any um, between now and the, um, reach out to you. All right. Um, any other things you want to add in before we finish up here, guys, or are we all good to go? I think we're good and I really uh, thank you, just uh, wish you all the best for your uh, career and uh, I hope part of it will be at Politecnico di Milano. Amazing, thanks everybody and have a great evening or afternoon wherever you are. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.